Hello everybody, welcome to getting ready for third grade math like a boss. I'm Miss McCarthy, I'm your host, I'm your teacher, I'm here to help you today. We're on week 8, week 8, day 36, we're going to be comparing fractions today. Everything that I'm doing today and throughout the whole series on these videos is, can be found inside of a workbook. So if you go down to the description box below, there's a link, click that link and it will take you to the same same problems that I'm doing, plus a bunch more because there's 40 days in all. So without further ado, let's get to comparing fractions and let me teach ya. Ba -ba 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 boss notes. Here we go. So you should have these boss notes with you since you've downloaded your copy. Um, and what you'll see is a number two and a number five with a fraction bar, okay? The number on top of a fraction bar is called the numerator. Go ahead and write down the word numerator on the top line. Okay, the numerator describes the amount that is being considered. Okay, so we are considering two out of the five. Two out of the five. So this kind of, this line right here kind of says out of five, two out of five but we would also read this as two fifths, two fifths. And then in, when we jump down from the fraction bar, that's called the denominator. We jump down and that's called the denominator. We'll start with D and that's the total number of equal parts. Okay. So there, here's how we would draw that. First we would start with our, so let me back up just a little bit. So to model this, we would have a rectangle. Okay, you could draw as a circle, but I prefer the rectangle because it makes it a little bit easier to draw. And draw one rectangle, and you start with your denominator. That's how many parts you divide it into. So here we have five parts. If the total number of equal parts is five. So as equally as I can, I'm going to create five equal looking parts. Okay, and the amount that I'm considering, my numerator, is Two, so that's how many parts I'm going to shade in. Now I'm not going to take a thousand years to shade them in. I'm just going to draw it quickly like that. So that is how you would model two fifths. Boss notes today are just to show you how to model it, but we're going to get into how you compare them in just a second. So let's go. Here is example one. We are comparing one fourth and three fourths. Okay, one fourth and three fourths. Now to do that, I am going to first switch my colors and get a blue. Um, since we are comparing two different fractions and what we have to do is write a greater than, less than, or equal to symbol inside of here. But since we are comparing two fractions, I'm gonna draw a bigger rectangle. Okay, bigger rectangle and then we're comparing two fractions so I'm going to split this horizontally so I can put one fraction on top and one fraction on the bottom. Don't do this. I suggest not doing this because it's kind of hard to make them look equal. Okay? Don't do it like that. Just make it one big rectangle and then split it in half. All right, now our first fraction, this is where we're going to put our one-fourth. Okay? Boop. And this is where we're going to put our, let me make it squiggly so it shows it better, three-fourths. Okay, so the denominator is four. It's even, so that means I can go ahead and split it in half. And then my denominator is also four here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of that. And now I just put two on each side to get me four. That makes it look equal, okay? Same thing for down here, split in two fourths. Now I'm considering one. My numerator is one, that's how many I'm going to shade in. So there's one fourth. And down here it's three fourths, so I need to shade in three, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Okay? So which one is greater? Which one has more area shaded going this way? It would be our three fourths. So we're gonna have our alligator mouth, okay, eating the three fourths fraction because that one is the greater fraction 
So the, the, this is the inequality sign that we are placing inside. Okay, now we are comparing to sixths and two fourths, okay? So I'm comparing two fractions. That means I'm going to draw a larger rectangle and split it in half in order to properly compare those two fractions. Let's say that when I was drawing, I kind of went like this with my rectangle. I want to make sure that I make that nice and straight over here because when it comes to comparing, you want to make sure that you have the same area that you're working with in order the same whole amount. Okay? So even that is a little crooked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me for one second. All right. Okay, not perfect, but it'll work. Okay, so two six we're gonna compare up top. Squiggly, squiggly. Two fourths is on the bottom. All right. They are both even denominators, which means that I can go ahead and split this in half. Okay. For the six, I'm gonna draw three on the top, three on one side three on the other side to make one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then for here, I've got two and two. So I'm gonna split this into two parts. Split this into two parts, one, two, three, four. Four equal parts for our denominator. And now I just shade in the amount that I'm considering, which I can find in the numerator. So my numerator is two. Shading in one, two. Here my numerator is two, shading in one, Two. So which one is greater? This one stops right here, and this one stops right here. So my two fourths is again, this side is gonna be greater. So jump, jump, hum. I'm hungry and I want the big one. Here is the scoop to do. I want you to try the practice it section on your own. I want you to give it a shot and see if what I did, if you understand it and now you can apply it on your own. Okay, then, if you struggle with it, or if you understand it, I still want you to come back and check your work, okay? Because we're going to do them right up here. So go ahead and do number three, number four, and number five on your own. Press pause right now. Pause. All right, awesome. Well, if you were struggling a little bit, that's okay. We're going to go over them, but I want you to help me this time, okay? So I'm comparing two fractions. How would you read this first fra fraction? Four sixths and over here this fraction five sixths very good if i'm comparing two fractions what do i need to draw down here a rectangle excellent and how many fractions am i comparing one two good so i'm going to split it horizontally down the middle okay up top which fraction are we going to draw up top Four, six, very good. And down below, we're going to draw five, six. Now, they both have the same denominator, so I can just draw the same lines going across. What is the denominator? Six. So how many equal parts do I have to draw? Six. Is it even? Yes, six is an even number, so we can just split it right in half. How many on this side and how many on this side? Three and three, you got it. One. One, two, three, and then three over here. I'm a little slanty, but that's okay. They're even. All right, up top, my numerator in my first fraction is four, so how many boxes do I shade in? How many parts? Right, my numerator is four, so I'm shading in four equal parts. That's my part that I'm considering. And down below, I'm shading in five. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, so which one is the greater fraction? Zoop. This one goes further, so that means five, six. So I need to draw an alligator mouth eating the five, six. Here we go with problem number four. We have one half and three, six. How many fractions am I comparing? Two. That's right. What do I draw down here? A big old rectangle. Make sure it looks even, boom. And then what do I draw across the middle? A line, because I'm drawing two fractions. Which fraction should we put up top? One half, and down here we'll put three sixths. Awesome. Um, okay, so are my denominators the same? 
No, but that's okay. Are they even? Yes, and that's helpful because that means that I can just split it down the middle, okay? For two, I've already got two equal parts, so I'm good there. And for the six, I need to draw three on this side and three on this side. It's not quite as even as I would like for it to be. Okay. All right, and I'm considering one, so I'm gonna shade in one here. And how many parts do I shade in for my second fraction? Right, I was shade in three. Perfect. Oh, which one is greater? Look, they end right on this halfway mark right there, which means that one half and three six are equivalent. So go ahead and put, throw an equal sign in there. Awesome sauce. Okay, final one for today. We've got one fifth and we've got three tenths. I need to model the fraction, so what do I draw down here? Triangle star. No rectangle. Draw a rectangle. And I split it into ten parts because I have ten fractions. I'm comparing. No, I don't have ten. I have one, two. I split it down the middle. Okay. My fraction up here is one fifth. What's my fraction down here? Three tenths. Excellent. Okay. Are they the same denominator? Nope. Are they both even? Nope. The five is not an even number, but the ten is. So I can go ahead and split this one right in half to help me. And I can do what plus what equals 10. We've got five and five equals 10. So give me a moment. This might. Now it's okay if you have to do these a couple times. I've been modeling fractions for a few years now. I'm not gonna tell you how many years, but a few years now, a couple years under my belt. Um, and so I'm gotten better over time of making them look as equal as possible. So you just keep trying. It's okay if you're not doing it as fast as me. But let me go back and make sure I've got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And then here we have 5. So I'm going to break this into 5 parts. Boom and boom. Okay. So 1 fifth means I draw shade in one part here. 3 tenths means that we need to be shading in 3, and I'm not taking forever to do so, I just do it quickly. And by a smidge, I'm talking a smidge, 3 tenths is actually greater. Man, I didn't have any less than sign, or these signs where this one was, that's actually greater than sign. But 1 fifth is less than 3 tenths, I haven't really had very many of those, but I bet you do in your workbook. I'm sure I threw some of those in there. So make sure for days 37, 38, 39, and 40, you are practicing these. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope that you had so much fun with me. Today's B message is be you like a boss. You are special. You are unique. You are important. You matter. You were born to be somebody awesome. You were given gifts and talents and you were made to use these gifts and talents to help make this world a better place. Okay, so stop trying to be like everybody else. Everybody else is already taken. Your job is to be you like a boss. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this series. Remember to be you and to remember of course, to get ready for math like a boss. Get ready, get ready be, ready, be ready, ready, like a boss. Like a boss, boss mode. Ooh, that math. I'm getting stronger.